जुको यात्रा These animals live in on the savannah, but in wooded areas on the savannah. So having browse like that, that sort of food, that is that part of their natural food, which you also see here from the plate. Nature, so they're stocky and built. The head looks relatively large, and they've got a vertical mane and a fall off. So that puts them into that. Young birds, uh, just keeping everybody in check, making sure they all behave themselves. Uh, taking you along behind them will be a bachelor, waiting for the old fellow to fall off the perch so that one of them can come and take over. The other animals we have in here are Mesopotamian fellow dishes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can just keep their voices down. Keep their voices down. With that tongue, they just hang out and wipe them on the side of the bus. For some reason, keep the child's voice on the dust. Oh, they do not want that. If they're doing a deal with the Nando Chums as well, there's a the bush fire out there in the island. Not particularly endangered, but humans are encroaching on the island as well. Remember back to the black buck, females living in wooded areas didn't have horns. These animals living on the open savannah, both the females and the males have horns. Perhaps that's an adaptation uh, to the environment in which they, they live. Again, they will be chewing their cup, the same sort of stomach structure. More of that zebra. Oh, you don't think about the eland, where it makes them interesting. Well, they're Jesus here. They're two and a half years. So I can pretty confident to stay with mum, but they're males, two and about two and a half years. Then I go from the problem cells in a coalition. Capacity, just the oxygen their muscles need. 
Now those front rigs can actually dislocate when they're running. So that can... That was 750 hectares with the garbage through part of it right now. Yeah. 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 We call this our seven gen. The seven gen is a French language, which means that. Uh, <laughs> You'll notice the keeper is there, so they're all very interested in what's. Now they go through the raceway there, the keepers get a chance to look at them, check them out, and cut some scratches and grass seeds, and everything like that. Three males, brothers that came from Werribee Zoo, females are about a year and a quarter uh, old now. So, very successful with our breeding and we're hoping they're very organised yeah. hunters, they live in packs of about 60 or so animals. Alpha male, female breeding pair back in the den with the young ones and the older animals. Uh, they're one of the few altruistic species that look after their older and infirm animals. So they'll go out hunting together in the pack They'll pick the weakest animal in the herd, they'll drop in behind it. They'll just rotate themselves, keeping the fittest animals up the front. And eventually the animal will fall 